hello all welcome back to tech capture so in this video we are going to see how we can create a change stream for cloud spanner and we can create a data flow job uh, which will be a streaming data flow job which will load this change stream data into the BigQuery so we'll see how we can do that so I'll go to the next slide here so first we'll see what is a change stream in a cloud spanner so in cloud spanner a change stream watches and streams out a cloud spanner database data changes inserts updates and data set deletes in a near real time and change stream is a way to enable change data capture in a cloud spanner so this is a typical definition so let me try to explain you what is a change data capture and what is a change stream here so just take an example uh, we have one organization database here employee database where it will contain all details of the all employee so it can be a name of the employee employee id employee address employees uh, nominee details employees a bank account number employees pan number every details of an employee will be this employee database and this is considered as a master database for employee data and there will be few more databases which will be dependent on this data or which can call as a downstream to this database so just take an example of a finance database transport database which will face address for transportation from this employee data database table there will be a insurance database which will fetch employee details and nominee details from the master employee database then there will be a finance database which will fetch only employee details and employees pan number or account number for a salary transactions okay so there will be multiple databases will depend on this now suppose there is any new employee added to the employee and that data will be reflected in uh, all other databases so this process would be uh, by default with a batch processing so suppose every day there will job execute and it will sync the data in all the databases so suppose today we have 100 employees in employee database and all databases will have 100 employees now what happened today five more employees join then end of the day this database for five more employees will be sync for all databases at the end of the every day so this is a batch processing but still we have delay of few hours so it's not a real time so to make this replication real time there is a concept of change data capture so whenever there is any insert delete or update operation happens in the database it will capture that event and it will just send that data to other databases okay we have these changes in our master databases you can take action accordingly so just say example so i have my account in xyz bank today and today i updated my account number and tomorrow is a salary day but if it is not updated in finance database then finance team can credit my salary in old account and it might fail a transaction okay so to do this in a real time we need a change data capture so we are going to see how we can enable this change data capture in cloud spanner using a change stream so i'll go to cloud console now and i'll try to create change data stream in cloud spanner and a streaming data flow job and we'll see how it works so i'm on my cloud console let me go to the cloud spanner first so in last video we already created one spanner instance and a database so let me show you that so here we have one a df demo database created for sorry df demo instance created for cloud spanner and inside uh, df demo that is data flow demo we have df db database created and inside this we have a default singles tables which we created using our queries in google cloud documentation so in this uh, we have a singles table so now we have to make a change stream that suppose any change happen into this singles table would be reflected in our BigQuery or it's just sent to BigQuery and then from BigQuery the further action can be taken by respective teams but at least we have to tell in BigQuery these are the changes made in our spanner database okay so here we could see a change stream so I'll go on this change stream okay and from here I'll create change stream now here we have three options here to create a change stream so you could see the syntax here change stream name so the change stream name i'll just give as a cdc stream i'll just give change data capture stream 
you can give any name and here in stream definition you can either enable it for complete database you can enable it for particular table or you can enable it for particular column but for now i'll enable for all the objects in the database so i'll just make it all okay and i'll create a change stream here so we'll just scroll down so let me zoom in if you are not able to see properly okay now this is our query and i'll just submit it and it will create one change stream okay so update completed uh, let me go to the change stream here and you could see this cdc stream change stream is created this retention period 24 hour will be default and value captured old and new values okay and the tables washed all the tables now i'll go to a data flow and i'll try to see how i can create a data flow job for this so i'm on a data flow here now here we have to create one more instance i'll tell you why we need to create one more instance so here i'll just give the name as a spanner cdc okay i'll keep it us central one template we have to choose here streamings template the first template cloud spanner changes streams to bigquery and i'll show you a few more details here the details we required here so here we need cloud spanner instance id cloud database cloud spanner metadata instance id and cloud spanner metadata database so these two things we have to create additionally so i'll go back to the cloud spanner so this is required to collect uh, the cdc data so that is one more step we have to do we have to create one more instance here so i'll create one more spanner instance i'll just give the name it's for metadata so i'll just give the name as a empty instance empty for metadata and i will keep it regional with the same region us central one and i'll keep it with a minimum capacity to save the cost okay and i'll simply create it so once it is created i will create one database also in this instance i will create a empty db or something so create i will create a database here called empty db or empty database so empty is for metadata and i'll simply click on create now i can fill the details here Okay, let me first validate okay so let me fill this detail first metadata instance is empty instance so let me give the name metadata instance empty hyphen instance and metadata database would be empty hyphen database and this is our df let me verify the name i think it's df db or df instance it's df demo okay so it's df demo and this would be df db i believe yeah it's df db so i'm just giving the required parameter df db so this is a database name now change stream name whatever the change stream name we created so we created cdc so if i go into this database here i can find this change stream name we created so it is cdc have underscore stream so i'll give the name cdc stream bigquery data set uh, i have created one data flow data set here so i'll use the same data flow okay this is our uh, data set name now i think all details has given hope it won't give any error so it is fine if you are doing it for first time and you will get couple of errors that is totally fine we have to just troubleshoot that error 
we can take help from documentation if we are stuck somewhere or if you are referring through my video you can reach out to me in comment section or I have mentioned my email ID in the description so now job is currently in queued status it will start in few seconds and then we'll look out for the job execution so currently where you could see the current CPU is completely blank once job started it will just create few CPU and nodes here worker node okay we got an error let's see hope it is not related to resource exhausted then we have to change the region and again need to rerun yeah it is for resource exhausted so as i am using a free trial account it is exceeded the limit so let me create the same job in another region so do i have option to clone here i don't see i have clone option here so let me create a new job again so i'll just create job i'm just changing the name and i'll choose endpoint again i will choose us east for now because central one i got an error I'll quickly fill all these details. So cloud spanner instance ID was DF demo database was DF DB. This was MT instance and it was MT database. It was CDC stream and data set was data flow. Okay, all details I have filled now. Let me run the job. He will monitor hope no error this time okay now you could see it's in starting state now it will just turn into running state and this cpu count will come here yeah you could see the job started running now and the status would be running okay so this is running now now it won't perform any action until we change something in our spanner database okay so what i will do now i'll go to this our spanner database and i'll try to change something in our table okay so we have singles table here so we'll just try to do a select star from singers okay now i'll just want to change this name so what I will do, I will update singers set first name. Is equal to I will set it to my name. Okay, where singer ID is one. And once I execute, it will change here, and it should then create change event and load into the BigQuery. So let me first go here and let me show you currently here are only two tables, BQ load and data, no other tables here. Let me execute these statements or unselected, okay, updated. Now let me check and here you could see its current CPU is showing two. Let me check the worker logs. just check all the logs here if it is getting event yeah here you could see it's in wait state it consuming the spanner changes starting worker pool worker started successfully we'll wait for few seconds and we'll see what happens okay now let me just scroll down and here you could see it is showing the counters so it is uh, reading the elements by its return so it is uh, writing into the bigquery table so i'll just see if a bigquery cable is created now so i'll refresh this page 
and we'll see if any new table is created here and it contains a change data or event data whatever the operation has performed insert update or delete yeah here we could have singers change log so we have on singers tables so let me query this and we'll see if it is having update table which we update query which we have executed means at least an event where it will tell okay this is updated name yeah so here you could see so i executed it two times as it was not reflecting so here you could see it saying okay first name is vishal last name richards method update table singers so it is giving all the details now let me do one thing again let me go back in spanner and let me delete this column okay so you just write here delete from singers where singer id is equal to one so i'm just deleting the first column here or uh, first row now it should have only two row okay so here it's having only two row now it's singer id two and three now this data should be reflected in bigquery near real time okay so i'll just go and i'll execute a query now you could see it's showing one delete operation on a singers table this detail is here number of records impacted in a transactions so it is showing the delete operation it is showing null because we deleted this data okay it is showing only a single id now let me again perform insert operation also so i'll just do insert into singers values and column name what we have first name comma last name i'll put this only values only for now i'll mention a uh, four comma something like i'll put abc so i need to correct one thing here so this values would be here so let me execute this now or i have to give i think null and null for remaining two columns let me try to execute now column has four except expected to at line okay we are missing it primary key here so it is a singer id let me try to execute it now okay it is three it's inserted one row and let's verify in a big query yeah now could see it's a uh, near real time and it's immediately reflecting that we inserted these records abc last name we didn't mention and only single id 4 we have mentioned so it's immediately inserting into the big query so this is a change stream in a cloud spanner and using a streaming job in data flow we are able to load the change stream into the big query so that's it for this video if you have any questions please let me know in comment section thank you for watching this video